Hi, my name is Alex with Dave Tech Tech Tutorials, and today we're going to be talking about global permissions in Jira. You're going to want to pay attention to this video because I have a call to action. I have a specific, very, very critical thing that you as a Jira admin should take immediate action on because if you don't, you might be exposing your Jira out to the internet, out to the public, and that is might not be a good thing. <laughs> If you haven't already, please consider subscribing, drop a like if you get value out of this video, and if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know in the comment section below. Let's jump into Jira. All right, once you're in Jira, you're gonna go up to the top right corner, go to the gear, click on system. Please keep in mind that you do need to be a site level administrator to be able to do this, otherwise you're gonna have a couple of problems here. So once you're here, you're gonna go to security and find global permissions. Click on that, and this is going to bring you to the main main global permissions that are in Jira. These are very important. These are beyond the permission schemes that we've dealt with in the past. These apply to the entire instance, not just to a specific Jira project. There's two things that I'm gonna be covering in here that are very critical. One of them is very, very, very critical. And I'm gonna start with that one first because that one is just so important. I don't even wanna sugarcoat it. I know viewer drop off usually doesn't last all the way through the end of the video. So I'm just gonna come out swinging. And if you're watching this video, you need to take action on this activity here, okay? And so if you come to your global permissions, I need you to scroll and find your create team managed projects. What this permission here does, the create team managed projects, is it allows that for an individual over here on the right to basically be able to come to projects, create projects, and create a team managed project. This could be a good thing, this could be a bad thing. I don't personally support and, and promote team managed projects because they're just too limiting. And so I'm a big proponent of just completely being being able to remove the ability to create team managed projects. But I don't know how you run your ship. Uh, I just want you to be aware that you do have this setting because out of the box, this setting here is set to public. Anyone on the internet, including logged in and anonymous users can and have the ability to create team managed projects. So if anybody knows your URL to your Jira instance, they could potentially come in here and create projects. So. This is a big no-no. You do not want this exposed to the internet. Why Atlassian has this as a default value blows my mind. <laughs> but if you've ever experienced a situation where you just have too many team managed projects because everybody in your team just keeps spawning projects left and right, you're going to want to change this setting. Also from a security perspective, you also want to change the setting. So first thing you want to do is come in here and actually delete this option. We don't want this. So we're going to delete the public one. Well, you do not want the public. Trust me, you do not want the public to be able to create team managed projects in your instance. Second, you probably, I don't know about you, but I, again, I personally don't condone, don't support these, so I don't promote this. I don't want people creating team managed projects. But if you're the type of person that does like having team managed projects, you're gonna wanna at least, at the very minimum, give your site administrator. So go to grant, select to create team managed, and then type in site admins and then the group for site admins will show up click on the add button and then at least your site admins will be able to add team, team managed projects so that at least covers you from the internet and from the vulnerability second thing i want you to look at here is you might find yourself in a situation where you're creating a group just a general user group and you put that group in your permission scheme or you assign that group a role that is then mapped to your permission scheme and then people try, in that group, people try to go and assign a ticket to somebody. But they find themselves that they can't actually assign somebody. And so you go look at the permission for assign and assignable and the, the users in there. Um, everything looks good. Every, the people, they're in the people section. Everything is covered. You're like, why in the world can this person not sh see the list of users? And it's not really a permission scheme from that traditional sense. You actually have a global permission that allows or, or restricts folks from being able to see any user or group. This is a common thing when you add a user to a group and that group is not defined in this list. Usually by default though, whenever you add a user to Jira, at a minimum the Jira software license is enabled and usually by default that Jira software user group is in this section already by default. But if you've manipulated your instance a little bit, you may find yourself in a situation where the user is in a group that isn't in this list. So you have two options at that point. You can either A, add that user to a group that is here, or B, 
you can bring in the group to this list here. And so to add the group, you just come down to the bottom, select that browse users and groups, and then find your group and add it in there. And that's pretty much it. But take a look at the other ones. There's not, not the rest are not as important. Obviously, administrator is a no brainer, just administer. Um, you also have the ability to restrict who can share dashboards and filters. Not sure why you would want to do that. And I have no idea what the group filter subscriptions are, so I've never used that functionality before. Uh, the bulk changes, though, you might want to consider changing that as well because bulk changes gives your team the ability to make giant and a, a lot of changes all at the same time. Mm, depending on the behavior of your team, that might be something you want to give or something you might want to take away. So anyways, that's it for this video. It's a quick, short one, but really, really, please do take action. Please go and remove that public from your Create Team Manage projects at a minimum, super critical you get rid of that. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. And if you made it this far and you haven't subscribed or dropped a like yet, please consider subscribing and dropping a like. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video.